Hogan Cassius here with Anthony Fowler. Um, how are you, Anthony? All good, mate. Just looking forward to the boxing tonight. Absolutely. Um, what's your situation at the moment? You've, you've got a tournament coming up in uh, Finland in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, they're in boxing a week first, did the first round of the Tamman tournament. So I've been taking over, I've been training after that. So a few more wins before the end of the new year. And then next year, we'll have a convocation before Rio. Obviously, you know, that, that's coming up and we'll approach very quickly Rio 2016. You know, how excited are you about, you know, competing in that? I can't wait, it'll be unbelievable. It's, it'll be before we know it. Come off games last year, that's forgotten about now. A year to the Olympics and I'm very excited and ready to go. Obviously, off the back of your Commonwealth gold medal, um, you'll be looking to sort of see, you know, what you can do in Rio and, and match that with a, a gold medal there as well. Yeah, definitely. I know the best of the world are. I know the, how the standard is and the standard's very, very high, but I've proven I can mix it with them all. I won a bronze in the World Championships 2013 and I've, I've improved a lot since then, so I believe I can turn that bronze for gold in the, in the Olympics. I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of people will, would have asked, you know, has it crossed your mind to have turned pro before before Rio or you know instead of Rio should we say you know that hasn't crossed your mind and you know you're fully focused on on the Olympics next year yeah I've got a good team yeah I mean GB boxing they've, they've had a plan for me for four years up to the Olympic Games so I've just been sticking my head down and keep I've always been I've never thought about professional because it's always been about Rio for now but obviously I've got one eye I've got a professional game and I always keep in touch with them um, the rivals around my ways and I know I can beat them all when I, I do eventually turn over Liverpool boxing has been thriving over the last sort of few years, and it's, it, it seems to be like with Liam Smith becoming world champion, and uh, you know a lot of fighters on the on the cusp of great things here, and you know you'll be looking to add yourself to that in the coming years. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, in the hurry in tonight, Calm Smith, first Rocky Field, massive fight for Liverpool, and all the younger lads are coming coming up, and the whole city as a, as a whole is a great boxing city. Like, look how many champions we've got, considering how small Liverpool is. So, hopefully, I'm another addition to the to the growing list. I want to talk to you about a fight coming up December 19th in Manchester between uh, Andy Lee and Billy Joe Saunders for the WBO, WBO world title. Um, how do you see this fight going, Anthony? To be honest, it's a 50-50 it's a fight in my eyes. It's going to go two ways. Andy Lee's got the experience, but Billy Joe's unbeaten and he's a live prospect and he's great, a great mover. I think Billy Joe could outbox him for the 12 rounds and win on points, but I wouldn't be surprised if Lee stopped him. So it's a 50-50 fight in my opinion. Another great fight coming up, 21st of November. Another version of the middleweight title, the WBC version, Canelo Cotto. Uh, as a boxing fan, how can you not be excited about this fight? It's one of the biggest fights out there, if not the biggest fight out there. And um, I see Canelo being the young and fresher boxer, and he might not wear Cotto, but it's going to be some fight that, to be honest. And obviously, you know, the winner talking about potential fight with uh, Gennady Golovkin, who we saw dismantle uh, David Lemieux last month in New York. Uh, you know, what do you make of Golovkin, first of all? Yeah. Golovkin's unbelievable, like I'm a middleweight and he's the one person I would want to fight. I had, I'd look at everyone else and think I beat him, but Golovkin seems to have the whole arsenal, but I just can't see how people can beat him because he can box and fight and he's so, so strong, but hopefully um, he's gone with him, I might move up. <laughs> I think by the time you've turned professional and, you know, he might be on the slide a little bit, possibly, you never know, you know. But I get him at the end of his career and knock him out. <laughs> Could there were Danny Williams or Mike Tyson, couldn't you? Yeah, no, of course. I, I honestly believe I'm, I'm laughing, but I honestly believe in four years' time I could beat him. That, that's the way I think, and I, I'm not scared of no one really when it comes down to it. And but I'm a fully grown man and I'm experienced in the professional game. I believe I will box for Loughlin one day, and I could be the one to the throne. Who knows? I mean, you're, you're on a roll. You have been on a roll, obviously, since the, the Commonwealth Games, and you'll be looking to, like I said, take your time, do things at the right time at your pace, and then when it's right for you to turn professional, you'll make that step. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I want to be with a champion within two years of turning professional. That'll be a realistic goal for me. And then the next two years, start to climb the world rankings and hopefully be world champion by 2020. You obviously want to be selling out places like the Echo Arena. And, you know, obviously Liverpool's great for boxing and it's, it always has been. But, you know, you, you want to be headlining them shows in the in the coming years. Yeah, definitely. Like Halifa, Carl Smith, who I, I boxed twice in the amateurs and he's a, he's a great, great fighter. And he's built himself up as a professional. He's, he went pro in 2012, I think it was. And, Three years time, look where he is now, to top and build. So I want me following their kind of footsteps and doing, doing the same myself. I just realised you talk incredibly quickly. I mean, uh, <laughs> I spoke to you before, but not you know not in an interview situation. Didn't realise you talk that quickly, but you do. I do need subtitles for some people, but I'm working on slowing it down as as I, as we get older. <laughs> Hopefully, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, everything obviously ahead of the the tournament in Finland going. Fine and according to plan. Yeah, I've been, I've been sparring great. I've been hitting on my targets on the, on the track, lifting heavy weights. I've been sparring well, so I'm very confident going in there and hopefully with the right game plan, I'll come back with the gold medal. All right, well, listen, uh, Anthony Fowler, thank you very much for talking to uh, the Cassius and Hilda show. And uh, listen, best of luck with the rest of your camp and obviously, 
you know, all eyes will soon swing to Rio 2016, so it's going to be a massive year for you. Definitely, I'm very excited and I'll be mentally and physically prepared to go come the day. Thank you very much, Anthony Fowler.